Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, June 7th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the ES and SPY. So we came into balance yesterday on the daily, as you recall, into a three-day balance. Sellers, um, we had the market short coming into yesterday between uh, Monday's low, the overnight, took the shorts out. Once the shorts covered, we rolled over a bit. They tried again in F, rolled over a bit, never made new lows, never got back below Monday's low, and then we rallied late Friday, go out with a small price probe. Again, I'm not using F's high because uh, the probe wasn't that big, so M's high is the big one. It's not like if we take out M's high, uh, M's uh, um, high that I would really want to lean against F's high. However, I would lean against value high, right? And that's where we have a wide overnight pock right now. If we take out yesterday's high, again, we're not coming out of balance yet. We need to take out Monday's high. If we take out Monday's high, again, we'll have a new yearly high, and then we'll have the ability to go for that August high. Like I said, we don't want a triple top up there. So we'll see if bulls are gonna get um, that accomplished today. As far as NQ, pretty much the same thing. Monday's high is their yearly high, so they have to do the same thing as us. Right now, they haven't traded above yesterday's high. They had a wide point of control yesterday. They had an afternoon pullback in uh, G. Righty, remember, had the very powerful trend day. They've had a history of taking those all back. Well, right now, at least for now, they're trading above yesterday's high. Remember. They are coming out of the weekly and daily with some powerful move to the upside. They were in a 12-week balance on the weekly. So pretty powerful coming out of that. As far as the monthly goes, they are still in balance for me. So game plan for this morning. Again, we've had a lot of gaps this year. Um, just under 50% of trading days have been gaps, but the majority don't hold. So with 75 minutes to go, we'll see how large this gap is. I don't think I'd really want to buy the gap, but I would certainly buy a pullback if we fill the gap, and I would use both the wide overnight pop and value high as a, a level that I don't want to see get taken out. If we take that out and get accepted back into value, well then guess what? Good odds of trading at our nine wide point of control and trade all of M's range. So that would be something. As far as the short goes, again, it depends where the overnight high is, might, might take a short against that, or if we were to push up against Monday's high, which is the top of what would be an evolving four-day balance. Again, just early plays. Uh, you're getting this live all day. And then just quickly on the chart, so here you go. We talk, spoke about this yesterday. Three-day balance, day four starts today. We need to take out Monday's high to come out of balance back to bull. You need to take out Friday's low to come out of balance from bull balance to bear. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.